really crummy for Veterans Day, crummy weather, all the events that were planned. But you know what? Through the storms, the heavy rain, people all across the metro took a moment to honor those who served in the military. And this Veterans Day is particularly special for the city of Papillion. KETV News Watch 7's Camilla Ortiz shows us why. Over the last three years, this park in Papillion has been slowly transformed into a veterans memorial. On Wednesday, the city unveiled the newest addition, honor walls bearing the names of more than 200 Sarpy County veterans. Even in the pouring rain, hundreds of people gathered in Papillion for a Veterans Day ceremony. A tribute to the men and women of Sarpy County who lost their lives protecting our freedom. Papillion dedicated a park to those veterans two years ago, but now their names are permanently on display. On behalf of the City Council and the residents of Papillion, I pray that Veterans Park makes a generational statement that we are a community that does not forget. Two stone honor walls revealed to the public as part of the program. They hold the names of about 230 veterans, many from right here in Papillion. My father is up there. Cindy Larson says she and her four sisters pitched in to dedicate a brick to their father, Air Force veteran Sergeant Paul Hackney. We lost him 14 years ago and um, we just want to do everything we can to remember him. The honor walls just the beginning of what's to come in the park. It will eventually have a reflecting pool, additional artwork, and even more names. We're just going to keep on going until we have as many walls as the park will hold. In Papillion, Camilla Ortiz, KETV Newswatch 7. So incredibly important and several community groups, including the Papillion Community Foundation, are funding the park's construction. If you'd like to dedicate a brick to a veteran, we have more information online at KETV.com.